Okay, so hello, welcome to Channeling Love. And I'm feeling a lot of anxiety today. Channeled earlier and received the message that it's good to let go. It's good to get to the point where you feel like you have to surrender. Because in the surrendering, that's where you find the peace. And sometimes it takes <laughs> banging your head against the wall before you get there. So, um, before you really figure out what it is you're doing that's making you so unhappy. Oh my gosh. So I'm not, I still don't really know what I was doing to make myself unhappy besides like judging my situation, but I don't even know how I was doing it. I don't even know where it was coming from. I was just miserable, just miserable. And came to the point of surrender, got the message to surrender. Like that's a good place to just start, start with surrender. And, uh, which literally means stop judging what you're seeing. Stop judging things as right and wrong because it's in the judgment where the anxiety comes. Well, I'm feeling a lot of anxiety right now. Like that paralyzing anxiety where like my brain cannot figure out what to do next. And there's kind of this forebodingness over me. Like we're moving soon. That's probably a lot of it. Like I have a million things I should be doing. But the kids are so distracting that I can't, I, it's not that I can't, I just feel paralyzed, you know? And so I decided this thought kept recurring to me, get this post office trip out of the way. Cause there were like four things I needed to mail. I got, so I told my daughter, just watch the kids. I don't know why. I mean, I could have done that I could, for the last three weeks. I could have told her to watch them while I step out, but I had to run and get a couple more things to put in the boxes and blah, blah. And that's, and there's a couple more things I still have to do. So I did three out of four and there's one I have to hand deliver. So anyways, all these gift packages that have been accruing four years, literally there is a birthday present that I did never get to the original birthday I wanted to send it to. So now it's just like a mid year present random. So anyway, uh, walking through these things that are feeling that when I feel paralyzed, but I'm still putting the motions into doing it because now it will be one thing off my list, but I, I, I don't even immediately feel relief from it. I still feel this anxiety. So God, you've got my attention, please. What would you have me understand about this anxiety? Kelly. Congratulations getting the post office, by the way. Good for you. Good for you. You know, sometimes you don't feel motivated to do things, but your brain is still giving you the information to accomplish it. <coughs> so we applaud you for getting that big huge task done and off your plate and everything will be fine even if you don't clean your house perfectly before you leave it'll all come out in the wash you know whatever so about this anxiety yeah it does have to do with your move because the move is forcing you to face things that you have been able to put off, you know, like, um, uh, organizing your closets so that when you unpack, everything has a place. But you know what? Your home is way better off than when you moved in. It really is. I mean, you have put effort into each of your storage spaces um, at least once or twice since you lived there. <laughs> and you did the best you could. You did the best you could. You're doing your best. And so you've got to understand that there's a limit 
to what you're physically capable of because your physical surroundings are going to reflect your overall spiritual well-being, your overall soul connection to source is represented by your resistance or allowing of abundance in your life. And that will come in whatever form of abundance you desire because you're defining everything in your world. So when you acknowledge the things that you ha- are receiving in abundance, such as travel, come on, that's a huge, huge blessing. It's probably more important than other things. Like seriously, if you were to rate a pretty house versus world travel, you'd choose travel. So in your heart of hearts, things are going well for you. You're just getting caught up on the details. You're getting caught up because you still have guilt and the guilt is showing up. And that's what it feels like. You feel guilty that you're not doing a good enough job. You feel guilty that you're not organized enough, that your kids aren't aren't well behaved, aren't, you know, don't have routines and you're getting caught up in all that. Whereas even that stuff can heal if you'd allow abundance in. So self-love and self-nurturing is what is called for at this time. And as you give yourself love and nurturing, bless it. Bless the actions that you're doing to take care of yourself, even if it's eating a cookie. If you're eating a cookie because you feel like pampering yourself with that cookie, then call it that. Say, Kelly, I'm going to treat you because you deserve it. Not because you earned it, but because you deserve it unconditionally. You deserve to be loved and pampered and nurtured. Okay? And, you know, do other things for yourself too. Like, ask Gally to watch the kids while you go get your hair done because you deserve it. Okay, (laughs) do these things because you deserve to receive love and abundance. Just do it for yourself. And then say thank you to the universe for allowing you to have the resources to take that action. And congratulate yourself for taking care of yourself. Because then you realize that Kelly's just another human being in your little figment of Okay, well, I don't know where that is. So, anyways, um, that was weird. I don't know if you recorded all that. There's like a flood alert coming from my phone and uh, Bluetooth, so the radio was, was loud. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to use this recording, but um, yeah, so take care of yourself, listen to your own needs. You see, when you get caught up, so what we're trying to say here is when you have a competitive spirit of accomplish, achieve, succeed, get ahead, it's very much reptilian based. It's very much third, third dimension, you know, grounded. It's not, it's old, okay, it's old energy. The new energy is relax and allow, which is like massage and Reiki, break up blockages by loving the block and recognizing why it became there, established in the first place. Um, Love everything into flow. And then watch the abundance show up easily. That's the new energy. Okay? So when you feel like you're struggling, back off. Back off. And just go into your yin. Your yin activities. Go into rest and relaxation. 
So getting to the post office today was like great because it was like you don't have any kids with you. You're able to just be alone. It's quiet. You get to concentrate and do one thing at a time. You're not multitasking. And that's why you're craving all this alone time is because you just want to do one thing at a time. And your definitions around mothering is loaded with, uh, this is hard. I have to work hard. I have to make things look a certain way. I have to multitask. Women are multitaskers. That's why they handle kids. Kids are hard. You got to do a whole bunch of stuff. Well, regardless of the words that you use to describe it, feel the energy of it. You know, your energy towards it is like, (laughs) so so much anxiety. So try to imagine first being a mom and being chill and relaxing and enjoying. Start with that. Don't start with, I got to do this today. I got to get this done somehow. And I don't know how it's going to happen. It's never going to, it probably won't happen today because I just can't even imagine it happening. Instead, just be like, uh, I am going to just allow like a beautiful day to unfold And I don't even know how it's going to show up because I'm not really in charge. I'm just going to let God lead me today. And I'm so excited and curious what it's going to look like. And my kids are so wonderful. I love, I love that even when I'm in a bad mood, they find reasons and ways to play and laugh. And I'm just going to like let that energy mingle with my energy. I'm not going to like totally take it on because I'm not ready for that. But I would like to at least enjoy them a little bit more and value that they're really having a good time and that's okay and that's good and I'm then something must be going right. <laughs> so um yeah. So anyway, um things are going right. Things are going right, okay? And you're you are making progress. You feel like these same patterns are coming back, but you know what? Some of them are big lessons and they just are a slow burn and they take a while and the healing of it doesn't look the way you thought it would. It didn't just snap out of place to make you feel better. Everything is taking its own time, going its own way that you don't have control over. So that's the part you're struggling with. You're struggling over the control. It's all reptilian and you are being guided into releasing it. So trust, continue to trust that you're doing your best and that's all you can do. Other than that, you just need to uh, be patient and let go of your expectations and um, just accept where you're at and eventually you'll see a shift and eventually the shift will be huge and obvious and there will be absolutely no denying how far you've come. So, you know, you're kind of working your way uphill and soon you will push past the peak and you'll feel the downhill because you will have gained all of these skills in allowing abundance and you will have gained the set point of happiness that is so far beyond where you've been that you just, there will be no going back and you'll just be happy consistently. Really, we promise you're, there's no, with the confidence that comes from a little bits of relief at a time again and again and again, it grows the foundation of this spirit practice and of your knowing your your psychic knowing will become stronger and that that's where a little subtle happiness will grow also. So many blessings. Namaste.